Paw Patrol and the Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue. It was a warm sunny day. Chase and Rubble were having a great time playing catch at the beach. Then they heard a far off cry. Meow, meow. A kitten was clinging to a toy boat out in the water. Uh-oh, Rubble exclaimed. That little kitty is in trouble. We need to tell Ryder, Chase said. Chase and Rubble raced to the lookout to tell Ryder about the kitty. No job is too big, no pup is too small, declared Ryder. He pushed a button on his pup pad and sounded the Paw Patrol alarm. Minutes later, Marshall, Sky, Rocky, and Zuma joined their puppy pals at the lookout. Paw Patrol is ready for action, reported Chase, sitting at attention. A kitten is floating out to sea, Ryder announced, pointing at the viewing screen behind him. We have to save that itty bitty kitty, exclaimed Rubble. Then he straightened up and added, I mean, ahem, we have to save that kitten. Zuma, your hovercraft is perfect for a water rescue, Ryder said. Ready, set, get wet, Zuma barked. And Sky, Ryder continued, I'll need you and your helicopter to help find the kitten quickly. This pup's got to fly, Sky exclaimed. Zuma's hovercraft splashed across Adventure Bay. Ryder turned his ATV into a jet ski and followed. Up above, Sky zoomed through the air. She quickly spotted the kitten. We're here to help you, Ryder said, easing his jet ski to a stop. The little kitten jumped from her boat and landed on Zuma's head. The startled pup fell into the water. Zuma yelled, Don't touch the... The kitten accidentally hit the throttle and raced off on the hovercraft. The hovercraft zoomed around the bay. Overhead, Sky turned this way and that, trying to follow the hovercraft's twisting course. This kitty is making me dizzy, she groaned. Ryder pulled up next to the hovercraft and jumped on board. He stopped the engine and gently picked up the shivering kitten. Everything's all right, he said, pulling a slimy piece of seaweed off the kitten. Let's take you back to dry land and get you cleaned up. Later that day, Rubble skateboarded into Katie's pet parlor with his new BFF. Aw, whose cute kitty is that? Katie asked. We don't know, Rubble explained. We found her on the bay with no collar or tags, just this purple ribbon. Does the kitty witty want a nice warm bath? Rubble asked. Meow, the kitten replied. Do you want me to do it? Katie asked. Cats can be a little tricky to bathe. Tricky, Rubble said. Not this little sweetie. But the kitten had other ideas. The moment she touched the water, she jumped away with a screech. She scurried along shelves, knocking over bottles of shampoo. Rubble slipped on a spinning bottle. The kitten fell onto Rubble's skateboard and rolled out the door. Down the street from Katie's pet parlor, Ryder got a message from Rocky, a little girl's looking for her lost kitty named Precious. Ryder recognized the kitten in the picture the girl was holding. Before he could say a word, Precious rolled past on Rubble's skateboard. She skated down a hill and disappeared into town. Chase, it's time to use your super sniffer, Ryder said. Chase needed something with the kitty's scent on it. Luckily, they had her purple ribbon. Chase took a deep sniff. <laughs> She went that way. Achoo! Sorry, cat hair makes me sneeze. <sniffs> Chase followed the scent until he found Rubble's skateboard at the bottom of the town hall steps. Good sniffing, Ryder said. Ryder and the pups looked around and saw a shocking sight. The kitty was inside the town hall bell tower. Ryder pulled out his pup pad and called for Marshall and his fire truck. All fired up, Marshall said as his fire truck screeched to a halt in front of the town hall. He arrived at the same time as the kitty's owner. Ryder told Marshall to put up his ladder. We need to get the kitten down from that tower. I'm on it, Marshall declared. He extended the truck's ladder and carefully started to climb. Marshall reached the top of the ladder. The scared little kitten was clinging desperately to a rope in the tower. I'll get you down safely, Marshall said. Come here. Meow, Precious whimpered. The little kitten jumped from the rope. She tried to grab Marshall's helmet, but missed and clutched his face instead. Whoa, Marshall yelped. He couldn't see. The ladder shook. Marshall lost his grip. He and the kitten fell off the ladder. Ryder caught Marshall, and the little kitty tumbled into her owner's arms. Precious, the girl exclaimed. You're okay. You owe these brave pups a thank you for all their help. Whenever you need us, Ryder said, just yelp for help.